Orion Township Supervisor Chris Barnett looked back at a prosperous year and looked ahead to major changes during his annual State of the Township Address. Lake Orion residents stepped up to help beautify the community as the township kicked off the 8th annual Orion Green Up. Who needs the Kentucky Derby? The Lake Orion Lions hosted a night of racing during a fundraiser at Boulder Point. And students at Lake Orion High School are just days away from opening night of their spring production of Shrek the Musical. Hello everyone, I'm Stacey Calloway. I'll have those stories and more on this edition of Owen TV News. Orion Township has been booming with new business and residential developments. Township Supervisor Chris Barnett was eager to share the news with residents during his annual State of the Township Address on April 18th at Woodside Bible Church, located on the grounds of Canterbury Village. The event had a night at the movies theme. Here are some of the highlights. Like every good movie, there's action, adventure, a few laughs, some amazing acting, a lot of really mediocre acting, some villains, some may be in this room, heroes, and we're hoping for a fairy tale ending. So I invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And let's take a look, uh, we look at this rating every year, at least the last several years, our niche rating. Niche rated us, a nationwide organization, uh, straight A's, and if you look at that line circle, it says, Orient Township is one of the best places to live in Michigan, and we agree. Yeah, that's right. You can clap. Our residents are overwhelmingly satisfied with living here, and our community survey results show that as well. You can see the uh, high marks that we have for a place to live in our parks and things like that. Um, and if you look a little bit further at the Lake Orion chat room, you'll see that, well, maybe not all our residents are so happy. Last one is my favorite. <laughs> Those are all actual snippets <laughs> from our residents. I think most of those people that answered that probably lived in Oxford, but. Um, <laughs> uh, but we have worked recently as a team to define who we are, who, what is our culture, and, uh, and, and even before I get there, um, you don't have to look real far to see that our residents really have a deep affection for each other and, and deep care. This is one funny post uh, that somebody put and said basically, um, this community is so amazing. If somebody needed a spaceship, people would give them plans and tools and tips and tricks. This place is the greatest, and I agree. And, and bringing it back in-house to our team, your township staff that works for you day in and day out, uh, we worked a few years ago to, to define who we are in our culture. And it's all about providing a white glove service to our residents, the best service in local government. My favorite quote, these are all things that came into us uh, through our survey. But a new couple that moved here, we have never dealt with any government employees who are so eager to help and welcoming before. And immediately made it clear that we chose the right place to live and start our family. Uh, amazing, amazing things. If you weren't able to attend the event, you'll soon be able to watch the State of the Township Address in its entirety right here on ONTV. Just visit orientontv.org to view the program schedule. Monday, April 22nd was Earth Day, and as usual, Lake Orion residents were asked to do a little spring cleaning to help beautify the area. On Friday, April 19th, Lake Orion residents were invited to come out to Camp Agawam to kick off Orion Green Up 2024. Volunteers who took part in the event were treated to a barbecue at the Alberici Lodge and were encouraged to choose a map representing an area that needed to be cleaned up. They were given trash bags and told they could clean up their chosen area at their own pace and leave the trash bags on site to be collected by township staff. This is our eighth year doing it. It started from our enviro, uh, student environmental resource group, uh, a girl named by the ma name of Madeline. She had an idea to get the community together and to really garner support and go make Orion beautiful. And it's just grown and grown every single year. Um, 
So this year we have some free food. We got projects throughout the community, a bunch of uh, giveaways, waste management support us, a bunch of other organizations. We have our uh, naturalist, our arborist, will be doing a tree planting in preparation for um, our Tree City Arbor Day. And then we also have, um, while supplies last, some milkweed seeds, and that is part of our Monarch Pledge. So our whole goal behind this, and really in Orion, is take care of our natural resources and just uh, just make everything more beautiful. The first Orion Green Up took place in May of 2016. Since then, the event has moved closer to Earth Day and volunteers come out in droves to help clean up the community. Again, it's like every single event that we hold. Just the support and love of our community just I mean, it just pours out of people. And this just shows for our environment, our natural space. I mean, Chris and everybody, they just keep saying we're living as a vacation, and this exemplifies it to its finest. If you missed Friday's kickoff, it may not be too late to get involved with the Green Up. You can call 248-391-0304, extension 3506, or send an email to jsampson at orientownship.org. The Lake Orion Lions Club hosts several fundraisers throughout the year that allow them to support a wide variety of local, national, and international charities. With the 150th running of the Kentucky Derby right around the corner, the Lions Club hosted a fun racing event of their own. On the evening of Saturday, April 20th, Lions Club members, family, and friends gathered at Boulder Point Golf Club for the annual Lion races. Attendees enjoyed a taco bar and took part in raffles and had a chance to win some real money. Local businesses and organizations sponsored 24 wooden lions and had fun decorating them. Each lion was given odds and advanced down the track thanks to large fuzzy dice. Yeah, so we, we went to local businesses. We have 24 lions. They purchase a lion from us and they decorate it however they want with their company logos and everything. And uh, we have a best dressed lion award. So people in the crowd here are, are voting on their favorite lion. And then uh, we'll we'll start the races. We line up the races, line up six lions in a row. There are eight races plus a championship, and we roll big fuzzy dice. And whatever dice numbers come up, they, those two lions move forward a space until we have a winner at the end after eight spaces. The first lions races were held in 2015 at the Knights of Columbus Hall on Orion Road. The event has since moved to Boulder Point Golf Club in Oxford and attendance was up significantly this year. I All I can say is thank you so much for supporting this um, event because all the money we raise goes back to our community. I see a big banner that has sponsors on it too. What do you want to say to the sponsors? Uh, I want to thank all the sponsors because without them, none of this would happen and they've done a great thing by sponsoring us. On a sad note, longtime Lions Club member Bob Erickson passed away on April 9th at the age of 72 after a courageous battle with cancer. We're really, really, really sad about that one. Bob is, uh, I know personally, he's one of my favorite people, one of the best men I've known in my life. Um, he's been a Lion a long, long time and uh, really in, in, an inspiration to many of us in the club. He helped me a lot as a mentor when I was president of the club. Uh, just one of the one of the best most generous people in our community. Bob Erickson was a fantastic lion. He was a great member of this community and he is going to be sorely sorely missed. That he's wonderful. What were some of his responsibilities? What causes were near and dear to him? Bob um, worked a lot on Project Kids Site, which is testing, you know, kids for their eyes. Um, he was involved in everything, just everything. He was wonderful. We have many different things that we support. One of the biggest things that we do is a Christmas basket program, and we feed about 215 families with two weeks' worth of groceries over Christmas and about 80 single senior citizens. And then we have lots of other Project Kids site. We support Leader Dog for the Blind. Um, we, if somebody is in need that needed eyeglasses, we would do that. We've just started a new program, it's called Defense Against Diabetes, because diabetes is a leading cause of blindness, and so we're putting money behind programs that, that promote the prevention of diabetes. We here at ONTV offer our condolences to the friends and family of Bob Erickson. He will be greatly missed. 
With opening night quickly approaching, the cast and crew of the high school's Shrek the Musical are putting the final finishing touches on the production. Our own Joe Johnson had a chance to get a sneak peek of rehearsals last week. Lake Orion High School's Thespian Troop 2898 is frantically rehearsing for their spring production of Shrek the Musical, based on the popular 2001 DreamWorks animation film. Directed by Megan Dyer, opening night will take place on Thursday, April 25th at 7 p.m. And unlike the movie, the 2008 musical will have Shrek, Donkey, Fiona, and Lord Farquaad singing and dancing their way into your heart. Senior Lucas Heitenen landed the starring role of Shrek. We asked him how rehearsals have been going so far. I think it's a really, really fun show. Uh, there's a lot of really cool, interesting characters in it and a lot of fun makeup looks. You know, usually in shows we're just playing a bunch of people, but in this we're ogres and fairy tale creatures and still people. So it's really fun. There's a lot of different stuff going on that's really enjoyable. So you're singing, you're dancing, you're acting, you're a triple threat. Yeah, I, I'm doing all that. I don't, I don't do too much dancing, but I, I got a little boogie in that I do as Shrek. I'm not in any of the, the big dance numbers, but there are a lot of really fun dance numbers that uh, I've got the pleasure of seeing and they're very cool, but I do enjoy my uh, singing and acting that I get to do in this show. Senior Madeline Schmel said she was surprised when she landed the role of Donkey, famously voiced by Eddie Murphy in the film version. So I actually never tried out for Donkey, was the funny thing. Um, I actually showed up, tried out for Fiona, tried out for Gingy, tried out for Pinocchio, I tried out for everyone but Donkey. And so then I got callbacks for Fiona. And then the next day I found out I was Donkey, and I was like, what? That's a big shock. But I love the role, so I'm happy with it. I would imagine. Talk about that. Talk about how much fun it is to be part of this production. Um, yeah, it's super fun. I mean, I'm super close with everyone on the cast and crew. I have been a part of everything, um, not just the show. I've been in multiple shows, and everyone's just super charismatic. And I mean, we're a little bit dramatic, but we're a lot of fun to be around. Senior Lexi Strohshine told me she was happy to have landed the role of Princess Fiona. I'm super excited to play the role and that's definitely been a dream role of mine. I love Sutton Foster and she originated the role so it was definitely something that I was hoping to play and I'm super excited to do it. So what's the experience been like uh, rehearsal so far? Yeah, rehearsal's actually been really fun. Um, I'm really grateful to have Dyer, Miss Megan Dyer here with us. Um, the last couple of years have been a little chaotic, jumping from director to director, and it's been really great to have her. She's been running things very smoothly, and everybody's just been great this show. It's been very relaxed and a lot of fun. It's a fun show. Many actors say it's most fun playing the bad guy, and 10th grader Owen Kurth seems to be having a blast playing the villainous Lord Farquaad. I mean, Shrek was completely out of nowhere for me. Like, I did not think it was going to be that. And then I was just going to get anything I could get. And then Farquaad, and I'm so happy to play it. Are you familiar with the, the movie, and does that affect your performance? Yeah, watching Shrek growing up, the tragedy of Shrek. It's watching Farquaad not achieve his childhood dream. It was tragic. And I'm so happy I get to portray that role now. I asked the stars of Shrek the Musical why Lake Orion residents should come out and see the show. I mean, it's a fun time. It's a movie that you've probably seen before, and it'll bring back some nice memories for you, and it's in like a new format, so it's not like you're just watching the same thing over again. You're seeing a whole new fun show that has like this familiar story, and it's funny. You're going to laugh, and there's heartfelt moments, and you're going to feel stuff, and it's just it's a fun time, fun time in Duloc. Now, if I remember in the film, Shrek was sort of a portly fellow, so are you going big on stage? Uh, yes, I have a suit that is going to make me bigger, and I got this, this headpiece that I'm going to put on. I'm not wearing this hat. Uh, <laughs> this is My grandma made me this, but I, I have this uh, headpiece that's going to put on. I'm going to be painted green, and I'm going to have a whole big suit on. I will be larger. Did I hear Donkey has a musical number? Yes, for sure. <laughs> I have three solo songs, <laughs> so yeah, I'm on a lot. Why should someone come out next week and see this production? I would say someone should come out and see it because, I mean, we put a lot of effort into it, and I think it looks really great. I think Shrek is a great show for everyone. Everyone, There's something in it for everyone. There's humor everyone can laugh at. There's a storyline that everyone can connect to. And overall, it's just a lot of fun. Just come out and enjoy it. We'll have fun. You should have fun. Because this production's for everyone. It's got laughs. It's got tears. It's got romance. It's got uh, amazing characters like Farquaad and some other ones. But it's, it's a great show, and you should definitely come see it. Again, the curtain goes up on Thursday, April 25th at 7 p.m. There are also performances on Friday at 7 p.m., a Saturday afternoon matinee, and a Saturday evening performance. To purchase tickets, visit Troop 2898 Presents Shrek the Musical on Facebook and click on the link. 
From Lake Orion High School, I'm Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV News. Thanks, Joe. And finally, the Orion Area Chamber of Commerce was out in the community once again, this time to celebrate a change in ownership of one local business. On the afternoon of Thursday, April 11th, representatives of the Orion Area Chamber of Commerce gathered at the Crestwood Commons Complex on M24 to help Pet Passages celebrate their official grand reopening with a ribbon cutting ceremony. It's been so awesome to be able to attend other ribbon cuttings and ours as well. And we've had a lot of people here today. It's great to see the support of this community, both within the chamber and uh, just other people that we've gotten to meet, customers, pet parents. It's been, it's been wonderful. Jake Blomquist took over ownership from Chris Myers, who originally opened the pet funeral home in 2020. It opened under new ownership on February 1st and helps people deal with that difficult moment of losing a beloved pet. First of all, we're here to help, uh, especially for those who want to plan ahead of time. You're welcome to give us a call, shoot us a text that way. We can help walk you through what you can expect. But in the event that it does happen, you know, suddenly, unexpectedly, or you're not prepared for it, again, just give us a call. We'll walk you through the process. Uh, we are a pet funeral home, so we do have viewing rooms that allow people to come and say a nice, quiet, final goodbye. And then we take everything from there. Our paperwork can be done in person with us walking you through it, or uh, we're also happy to do that through our website. It's all self-guided, really simple, really easy. Pet Passages has two locations in Michigan, Lake Orion and Livonia. For more information, visit PetPassages.com or you can find them on Facebook at Pet Passages Lake Orion. And with that, we'll wrap up this edition of ONTV News. On behalf of the entire ONTV News team, I'm Stacey Calloway. Thanks for watching.